Have you ever pondered over the fluid nature of religion and its constant evolution? Religion, as an integral part of humanity, has been as adaptable as the societies it springs from, changing its form to meet the needs of different eras. From the primal belief systems of our early ancestors to the structured doctrines of major religions today, the journey of faith is a riveting tale of transformation and adaptation, and now, in the post-Second World War world, we find ourselves witnessing yet another fascinating shift in the religious landscape, the rise of new religious movements, or NRMs. As we prepare to dive into the intricacies of this phenomenon, let's set our time machine to the mid-20th century. The world is changing at an unprecedented pace, and so are the spiritual needs of its inhabitants. The stage is set for a new kind of religious expression, one that is less about dogma and more about personal search for meaning. As we journey through history, let's delve into the fascinating world of NRMs. What exactly are these new religious movements, you may ask? Well, let's delve into the definition and concept of these intriguing phenomena. New religious movements, or NRMs, are movements that are essentially, as the name suggests, new in the sense that these are recent emerging predominantly in the post-World War II era and are different than the erstwhile mainstream religions. Moreover, NRMs are religious because of their inherent ability to answer profound existential questions of life like, who am I? Or is there a God? But what differentiates these NRMs from the mainstream religions that have existed for centuries, even millennia? The key lies in their approach. Number one. NRMs focus more on the individual rather than the group. Number two, they are a matter of personal choice, not societal expectation. Number three, they emphasize the practical applications of faith. Number four, these are highly commercialized and often commodify religious artifacts, making spirituality accessible and tangible. Number five, the leaders of these movements tend to be more rational, secular, and outspoken public figures, breaking away from the traditionally mystical and secluded image of religious leaders. Number six, Tom, these movements are often loosely organized, offering flexibility and adaptability that cater to the modern, fast-paced world. Number seven, NRMs focus more on participation of lay people in their activities. Number eight, NRMs provide rapid spiritual development to the members. That is, they provide shortcuts for salvation unlike the more demanding mainstream religions. Number nine, NRMs are more compatible with science and technology. So why do we call them NRMs? Well, sociologists coined this term as the previous labels of sect, cult, and denomination were ambiguous and confusing. There was no consensus on their definitions, leading to misinterpretations and misunderstandings. Rodney Stark defined sect as breakaway from mainstream religion and cult as culturally innovative. Brian Wilson defined sect as authoritative and exclusive in organization, while he defined cult as loosely organized institution. The term cult later on became politicized and derogatory following incidents of mass suicides ordered by groups such as the Solar Temple and Heaven's Gate, after which anti-cult movements emerged in 1980s. Thus, NRM was introduced as a neutral terminology that could encompass this diverse range of spiritual movements without any negative connotations. The uniqueness of NRMs lies not only in their newness, but also in their individualistic and practical approach to faith. So, how do NRMs stand out from traditional religious expressions? Let us explain some of the important points. Well, let's start by acknowledging that the focus of NRMs is primarily on the individual as opposed to the group. This is a significant departure from traditional religious expressions, which typically emphasize the collective community of believers. In NRMs, the individual's spiritual journey and personal relationship with the divine take center stage. A second striking difference is the aspect of choice. In traditional religions, faith is often determined by birth or societal expectations. But in NRMs, faith is a matter of personal choice. Individuals actively seek out and select the spiritual path that resonates with them, often exploring multiple options before settling on one. Another hallmark of NRMs is the practical application of faith. Whereas traditional religions might focus more on abstract doctrines and rituals, NRMs emphasize the day-to-day -day applicability of spiritual beliefs. They offer practical solutions to life's challenges and encourage followers to apply their faith in ways that improve their lives and well-being. Finally, let's talk about the role of religious leaders. 
In traditional religions, leaders often hold a sacred authoritative position, guiding their followers based on ancient scriptures and traditions. In contrast, leaders in NRMs tend to be more rational, secular, and public figures. They are open, outspoken, and often prioritize dialogue and engagement with their followers over dictating religious practices. This shift towards a more democratic and inclusive leadership style is another defining feature of NRMs. In essence, NRMs have ushered in a new era of religious expression, one that centers on the individual, values choice and practicality, and fosters a more egalitarian relationship between leaders and followers. Indeed, the advent of NRMs has brought about a paradigm shift in the religious landscape. What sparked the emergence of these NRMs? Well, the rise of new religious movements is largely a complex interplay of many sociological and historical factors. One of the key reasons is rationalization. As society moved towards a more scientific and logical understanding of the world, traditional religious beliefs often found themselves at odds with this new worldview. This led many people to seek spiritual answers that were more in line with their rational understanding of the universe. Urbanization also played a significant role. As people moved from rural areas to cities, they often found themselves disconnected from their traditional communities and values. This dislocation created an environment ripe for the emergence of new religious expressions that could provide a sense of belonging and identity. Then, we have individualism. The emphasis on personal freedom and self-expression characteristic of modern society has led to a religious landscape where individual spiritual experiences and personal interpretations of religious texts are increasingly valued over traditional doctrines and practices. Industrialization, too, is a contributing factor. The rapid pace of technological and economic change brought about by industrialization has left many feeling disoriented and yearning for a sense of stability and purpose which NRMs often promise to provide. Finally, we cannot ignore the social factors. Deprivation, in its many forms, economic, social or spiritual, often leads people to seek solace in new religious movements. Similarly, the dislocation of community, whether due to migration, conflict or changing social norms, can make NRMs attractive as they offer a new sense of community and belonging. However, it's crucial to remember that these factors do not operate in isolation. They interact with each other in complex ways, and their impact can vary greatly depending on the specific historical and cultural context. The rise of NRMs is a testament to the dynamic and adaptive nature of human spirituality. As society changes, so too does religion. And as long as these changes continue, we can expect to see the emergence of new religious movements that reflect and respond to the evolving spiritual needs of humanity. What impact have NRMs had on society and individuals? This question brings us to the heart of this discussion. New religious movements, or NRMs, have significantly influenced both society and individuals in ways that are as diverse as the movements themselves. On a societal level, NRMs have contributed to the process of secularization. By offering alternative spiritual paths, they've helped to erode the monopoly of traditional religions, leading to an increasingly secular society where religion is just one of many options for individuals seeking spiritual fulfillment. But this isn't the whole story. Alongside secularization, NRMs have also played a role in the social phenomenon of alienation. In a world that's rapidly changing and increasingly complex, many individuals find themselves feeling disconnected or out of place. NRMs, with their focus on personal spiritual experience and community, can offer a sense of belonging and purpose that helps to combat feelings of alienation. In addition, NRMs have been instrumental in challenging and redefining societal norms and values. They bring to light moral ambiguities and value confusion in our society, prompting us to question and reassess our beliefs and practices. This has led to a richer, more diverse moral landscape, albeit one that can sometimes be challenging to navigate. And then there's the search for meaning. In a world where traditional religious narratives often no longer resonate, NRMs offer fresh perspectives and new ways of making sense of our existence. They provide narratives that speak to the concerns and aspirations of contemporary individuals, offering a sense of purpose and direction in a world that can often seem chaotic and confusing. Finally, let's not forget the role of NRMs in health and healing. 
Many NRMs place a strong emphasis on holistic wellness, promoting practices and beliefs that foster physical, mental, and spiritual health. In a society where the shortcomings of conventional healthcare are increasingly apparent, this holistic approach to well-being is resonating with a growing number of individuals. NRMs have indeed left an indelible mark on the socio-cultural fabric of our times. Whether we agree with their beliefs or not, there's no denying the impact they've had and continue to have on our world. As we reflect on the emergence and impact of new religious movements, what does the future hold for the evolution of religion? We've explored how NRMs symbolize a departure from traditional religious expressions, focusing on individual choice, practical faith applications, and the commodification of religious artifacts. These movements have arisen in response to societal shifts like rationalization, urbanization, and individualism. They've also emerged from societal challenges such as deprivation, community dislocation, secularization, and the quest for meaning in a world rife with moral ambiguity and value confusion. The rise of NRMs underscores the dynamic nature of religion. While they may differ vastly from their traditional counterparts, they continue to address the same fundamental questions. Who am I? Is there a God? What is the purpose of life? In essence, new religious movements represent the continual evolution and adaptation of religion to the changing needs and contexts of society. They exemplify how religion remains a relevant, vital part of human life, continually reshaping itself to meet the spiritual needs of individuals in a rapidly changing world. The evolution of religion continues, with NRMs playing a pivotal role in shaping the spiritual journey of many around the globe.